These are Brachypanora chinensis. In the US, they're also called the Asian needle ants. You can tell from its name that they're native in Asia, found in many places like China, Japan, Korea, and so forth. But in the US, they are an invasive species. Apparently, they do sting people and their sting is worse than pirates, but I found that they don't really want to sting you unless you force them to. Even if you put your fingers in the nest, they won't sting you. They are very abundant in the southeast United States. I see them everywhere on campus. If you go to any parking lot near a forest and simply look down at places near the soil, you'll be able to find these Asian needle ants patrolling the area. From my personal observation, they are uh, more abundant at the opening edge of the forest, not so much deeper into the woods. They like to nest in decaying trees and logs. We often find them living in close proximity to termites because, well, they really like to eat termites. But they also eat whatever insects they can catch. In some sense, these Asian Indo ants and the red imported fire ants are competitors here in the southeast United States. They don't build a nest in the same habitats, but they do forage in the same area. So naturally, I want to see who would win in the fight, and to my surprise, they really put on a good fight. When I put them together, the Asian needle ants is always the first one to initiate the attack. In this case, the Asian needle ants quickly stings the fire ants, paralyze it, and win the fight within a couple minutes. In the next round, I put in a bigger fire ant worker with the Asian needle ants. At first, the battle was really intense. They both wanted to sting each other, but they can't immediately hold on to each other to deliver a good sting. And after a few minutes, the fire ant is starting to gain an advantage. It seemed to be able to subdue the Asian needle ants, well, because the fire ant is larger. And eventually, the fire ant would win the fight. So it basically comes down to size. Whoever is larger will be able to sting the other one first. And if you got stung, then you're pretty much done. Then I put the Asian needle ants together with a worker of a Phenogaster species, which is a native ant that also live in the decaying woods. And these ants are pretty much don't stand a chance against the Asian needle ants. You can probably tell from their body shape and skinny legs that they're just not as strong as the needle ants. As you can see, these are some really aggressive ants. They could be a bad news for the local ant species, but there is also evidence that they did not have a huge impact on the local ant diversity when they invaded an area. So perhaps more studies are needed.